Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to another video on Salesforce Bold. Guys, nowadays everyone is using these GPTs and AIs are everywhere. We used to have that uh, predictive AI. Now we are using generative AI, which is completely dependent on the prompt. The better the prompt is, the response is going to be in the same way. We have been using ChatGPT to develop the code, to test the code and for multiple other purposes as well. So this video is going to be related to one of the GPTs which Salesforce has recently introduced. So recently Salesforce has introduced Einstein for developer, which is basically code GPT in the backend using which you will be able to generate the code based on the prompt provided. So this is basically a VS code extension, which you'll be using in the VS code. And in this video, I'll show you how you can install this extension, how you can use it and how you can make best use of it. So let's start today's video guys. I'm Kapil, your host and you're watching Salesforce Bold. This video. So this is just going to be a small introduction, a short video of this Einstein for developer, how you can install it and how you can uh, make the best use of it. So if you're watching this video, my assumption would be you are already aware of what is chat GPT. You must have used it maybe in one of your code as well. I mean, everyone, everyone is using it. So yeah, so for this Einstein for developer, so this is still in beta version guys. So it might not work as expected with it, with its full capabilities, but still, uh, you can get most of it. Uh, so let me show you how you can install it. So guys, to install it first, first you need to, if you're using VS code, you need to authorize your org. It could be sandbox or uh, your developer edition or maybe a scratch org as well. It's up to you. Then in your org, you need to go to setup and search for Einstein for developers. Now if you will click on this, so here you say, here you can see, uh, get started with Einstein for developer. So this is the default setting, which is going to be disabled in your org. So you need to enable it to use the Einstein for developer in your VS code as an extension. Here, if you will read it out, it says the Einstein for developer extension is available for download from VS code marketplace. This is a free to use extension guys. You can simply install it. Install the extension in your VS Code desktop application or code builder. So this extension is still uh, available for code builder as well. Uh, so if you're using the Salesforce code builder to create a project or develop something, you can install it as a code builder extension as well. Use Einstein for developer to generate boilerplate code from natural language instructions from an Apex class trigger or anonymous Apex. So basically it can give you a boilerplate code, which can be a base structure of the functionality, what you're trying to achieve. It may or may not be the exact functionality, what you are looking for, but still it depends on the prompt entered by you. I have tested it with multiple scenarios and most of the time it is working as expected, but still as it is a generative AI, it is Gen AI. So it depends on your prompt. The better the prompt is going to be, the result will depend on the same. All right. Now, after enabling this setting, you just need to open your VS code and you can simply go to extensions. And here in the extension marketplace, you need to search for Einstein for developer. Here it is. So here in my org, in this VS code, the extension is already installed. And uh, as I said, this is a free to use extension still in beta version and available for the code builder as well. So if you're using code builder, you can find the same extension there as well. All right. Now, after installing this extension, you will be able to see the Einstein sidebar here. So this is a Einstein logo here. You can see in this uh, VS code. And if it is not getting visible, I would suggest you to try to restart your VS code, maybe because sometimes it needs a restart as well. Okay. Now to generate the code using Einstein for developer, you can simply click on this Einstein sidebar icon 
and here you can enter your prompt for example for testing purpose i have added create a lightning web component to print hello world so this is a very basic stuff guys so for these kind of stuff you can expect uh, the similar result what you need the expected output would be there but for complicated functionality maybe you want to develop a wrapper class maybe you know some uh, other mixed object functionality get some record from this object pass it to that object though in those functionality you might not be getting the exact result but still you should be able to get the boilerplate code here in the uh, code block so here if you will notice this is a lightning web component created by this einstein for developer okay for example let me try to generate a fx class so here as i said like this is completely depends on the prompt you are going to enter okay for example uh, create an fx class uh, named my first apex to get the related contacts based on the past account ID so this is my code guys okay now if I will click on this ask button So it is basically loading the prompt and based on the prompt it will generate the output so here you can see uh, the einstein for developer tool has created a, an apex class which is my first apex as i did specify the name as well now here it is uh, returning a fun it is it has created a function here which is public list contacts and the function name also you see like this is as per the basic developer terms what you will be using while you will be creating the function so for example if i'm creating function to get all the contacts my function name is obviously going to be get contacts and here it is accepting id account id okay now here it is uh, creating list of contacts which is returning select id name account id from contact where account id equals to this id and it is basically returning the list of contacts right so that's how this is going to work it completely depends on the prompt you are going to enter let's try to have another uh, typical example maybe uh, what shall we try with this let's try to create a lightning web component which is having a form create a lightning web component uh, to get first name last name and address on the UI okay now it will be loading the prompt and based on the prompt it will give us the result so it has created a lightning web component here where you can see there are a couple of inputs first name last name and for address guys as you must have noticed i was just using address but here you can see mailing street mailing city state and postal code so it has used the compound salesforce mechanism what salesforce is using to store the address let's see what it will be using for gender uh, as per my assumption it should use a pick list or maybe radio buttons or as I said, like it is depend on the prompt you are entering. It may use a text input as well. Last name, I will add gender. Okay. All right. So here you can see as per the assumptions, it has added a radio group button uh, radio button group here basically this was the first time guys i was also trying this thing and uh, as per my expectation it is having a radio button to have the gender value so this is just the ui thing still you need to develop the javascript and uh, 
maybe you need to create an apex as well to execute your code but still this is a kind of a boilerplate code guys which you can use for reference in your code this could be the base code what you are going to use while you will be building your actual lightning web component apex or anything else so that's how this einstein for developer is going to work and as still uh, as this is just a beta version and uh, with further updates of course it will be expanding its capabilities to support more frequent prompts from developers for lwc apex and javascript as well so that's it for today guys if you like today's video a uh, subscribe to the channel will be awesome i'll see you in the next one guys thanks for watching